Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Layback Gamer, and we are back with some more Civilization IV Caveman to Cosmos. And in today's episode, and actually in this recording series, we're going to get some research done. We're going to get some copper units out, and we are going to colonize more islands. Hopefully, a bunch more. Well, maybe not islands per se, but area around us. I'd like to get a bunch of land around us all colonized, ready to, well, I guess not colonized in that case. It's more settled. <laughs> oh, I would like to get that done. Be nice. It'd be nice. Yeah, today's uh, Thursday before I don't even know if I could say it, but the the sale day where everybody goes crazy. And I opened up my Steam this morning to see just a ton of different sales. However, unfortunately, I can't... Where Steam is doing great and showing, Hey, this is... A, here's all the sales we have. I can't actually search up a game <laughs> to see if that game, that particular game is on sale. I can see what franchises are on sale, but I can't see what game... Like, any games that aren't part of a franchise, if they're on sale. I don't want to head up here. Nah, not really. What was I doing with you again? Oh, there's an island there. Uh, I suppose we'll just bring you back home and have you... I'll go the long way around. Yeah, we can go the long way. Load up a trail there. Yeah, I was looking and trying to find a couple of games, because I think I had uh, Subnautica on my wish list for a while. However, I wanted to wait for it to come on sale. Uh, let's see, I had Dragon Age 2, because I would eventually like to play that for the channel. Seeing as how I'm... I think I'm about over the 50% mark finished with the base game. Still have a bunch of DLCs to go through, but... Uh, some of them are pretty short, so they might only warrant a single episode. Some of them are pretty long, and... Well, actually, one of them is... I know it's gonna be a while. Well, thank you. Uh, got javelineers and spearmen. Pretty nice. Oh, and a bunch of other, uh, bunch of other units here too. That we can't access at the moment. Anything interesting? Oh, that would be an interesting one if I had that. And access to the compound. But anyways, uh, copper mine. Required to build a copper smelter. You need the mining camp, and then you have. This you could build to get copper ingots and the uh, and I think metal casting allows you to get the, uh, the wares. I recall uh, smiths. Oh no, they allow you to get smith. Copper smith in there? Yeah, copper. Okay, it might allow copper smith might allow you to get the wares. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see here. I would like you to start working on. Getting ourselves... Where is it? We've already finished the mining camp. It's actually probably going to be at the bottom here. Oh no, maybe you haven't finished the mining camp yet. Yep, it's at the very bottom. Let's go ahead and bump that to the top. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else was on my wish list. I know I'd wanted to play the Assassin's Creed series for the channel. Starting with the first game, of course. And apparently, I also learned today that apparently the third, like, the official Assassin's Creed 3 is not on Steam. It was kind of annoying. I was looking at... I wanted to get all the all of them through Steam. Can I build a coppersmith? Can I build it here? I don't think I can. I know it's already built. So yeah, I have to wait for the uh, copper wares to come into the city. Oh, look at that. I could build stone bridge if I want. The trade route yield. Eh. Uh, let's, we got a bunch of hunters coming in. Get the stables. We'll grab this. Negotiations. Hut. Negotiate. Negotiator's hut. 
granary, wheelwright. Oh yeah, we'll get donkey breeder. And probably a boat yard. I'll get that. And we'll see from there. Might end up uh not building these. What does this one do? No, faster construction on the dumbness. This one's obsolete with uh, theology. The cat and bear trainer. Hold on a second. Uh, let me just bring this down just, just a tiny bit. Just a smidgen. I can't even remember what was in the way. I know there was a one early access game on there, but I don't think I'm ever going to get it because I believe I put it on the wish list like a year or two ago. Maybe not a year or two. It was when I first discovered RimWorld. I've been playing that for a couple of months. That's why I put it on. I suppose whenever I discovered RimWorld, that's when I uh, had it. I go through any rocky oak crops, no good. And it's just been in early access for that long. I don't think it's ever going to come out of early access. But I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, what else was on there? I'm trying to think. I think I got the three major ones. Uh, I put one. I put the one Assassin's Creed, the first Assassin's Creed on there so I could check to see. Because if it goes on sale, then likely... There might be a couple more, like some of the more earlier ones are on sale. Uh, I'd put Dragon Age 2 to keep up for that and maybe see if Inquisition was going on for a good price. With, of course, with all the, uh, all the DLCs included. All the bells and whistles. Uh, and I know there was a, I had a card game on there that I was going to play at one point. That's fully released. I never actually got around to playing it. Not sure if I ever will. Ooh. What would I like to promote you guys? Hmm. Well, barbarians still could be an issue out here, so I guess a lit Something against... Uh, just a more... General... Field. Or area. Trick. Yeah, I can't quite remember what was on. I know I had a couple other games on there that I was interested in looking at. I can't remember what. Oh well. When Steam fixes the ability to see your wish list and to look up a game, I can go look it up or I can go see it and then I'll know exactly what was on the wish list. And see if I want to buy any of it. Uh, cottage. Do you want a cottage there? Yeah, cottage. Yeah, what? Since it's probably, it's going to be the same day that I release. It's going to be, I'm recording this Thursday and I'm releasing it the same day. Uh, they're, depending on, you know, timing wise, I might have three episodes released today instead of just two. I'd plan for two, with the potential to do three if I can get all my, uh, all my tasks done around the house. So, uh, I'm hoping I can do that, and then record another one. But yeah, in the comments of any of those videos, tell me what's on your Steam wish list if you have it. Or what's a game that you were looking at getting for a while that you waited right until it went on sale. Because I know that's how I buy most of my games nowadays. It's okay, let's wait for them to go on sale, see what the sale price is, and if it's like, yeah, you know, I think, I, I think this is the best I could get, then we'll pick it up. Like for instance, a, I think one of the, the best purchases I ever had, in terms of game-wise, was, uh, they were selling at Walmart the the Elder Scroll Anthology, and it's a collection of all five game of the first five ti major titles. So Arena, Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. 
and I believe Skyrim came, Skyrim and Oblivion came with all of its DLCs. Morrowind may have, might have been missing one, or it may have came with all the DLCs. And I also got them for free on Steam as long as I entered in a code for them. So I, in addition to having the disc collection, I got a map with it, and all that for 40 bucks. Which was a really good deal. I was really happy with that deal. And I still have it to this day. I still, I believe I still actually have a disc for you too. And I think on Steam it's registered that, yep, yeah, uh, you have Morrowind. You can download it anytime. Uh, I can't quite say the same for Daggerfall and Arena, but uh, the graphics on those games are just way too old for me to want to play. I think Morrowind's even at that. Morrowind's at that. Point. Oh, jeez, what did we lose? No, I lost my quarry. Get up there and fix it. Uh, let's see you. Uh, let's get a myth. I would like one myth. And then grassland promotion. Get a road. Go to this. Ooh, Atlantis had Hellenism spread to it. Nice. Finally, the hunters are coming in. So, uh, let's see. I don't want them to go up north. If they come up here, they're going to die pretty quickly. Special since there's a city over there, so. I reckon. This boat's still going. That's impressive. I'll send one guy down here, and he'll hunt around with the stone macemen. Ooh, if I can get some... I think I'll now focus on getting him some, a little bit of a ice promo, like ice combat promotions. So he can explore... He can explore up here. He has the combat strength, so he could probably take the city on as long as he had a couple of a couple of guys defending him. But probably would need to get another unit. Do I have any other units that I can make for... Uh, 11 experience. That's a yes. I do have enough. Do I? How much the hunter? So the hunter got two promotions. I can't. Oh, no, I can't. Only starts with seven. So, yes, I actually do have uh, units that I can get. Three. Start with three promotions. So, that'd be combat one. Let's already start with combat. Do I start with combat one? I don't. Okay, never mind. But I get combat one and the first two levels of uh, cold combat training. Then I have them wander around here for a little bit, pick up the third one, return them back to here, do that twice, and then have Phoenix go out with them, and they could defend up here. They could defend them. Oh wait, that's ice. Ooh, I would I, actually I would need three to go up there. Not here, though. I could send them over to here. I would just need Taiga. Yeah, actually, I would just need Taiga. I could send them over to there. Let's see. Can a war galley... Can the war galley transport? If it could transport, then... That'd be good. I can then send Phoenix over to here with one, with a uh, level one cold training, so that he can uh, heal up in the full, heal up on the mountain, <coughs> and he could also get some more training over here too. And it would save on killing all the animals off. Let's see here. Ah, uh, yeah, they're no longer operational because. So, or he's down. I know. I know. Ooh. Hematism has been founded in a distant land. I wonder what that means for research wise.
let us see the big picture here, because this could give us at least a bit of a clue on how far along the other civilizations are. So, I believe this one was already taken. Mesopotamianism. Would suggest that your Yoruba has been now discussed, has been taken as well. Folk dance, folk music, conscious. I don't know where conscious is. It might actually be back in here, but if it's so back in Stone Age, then the prerequisites don't really mean anything. Well, folk music, that's here. Oh no, it's. You need to get all three of these. Probably did that. Got pottery. Ancestor worship. And went standardization. I got that. Uh, board game ceremony then to there. Hmm. It's likely that's. If, they, if a civilization wanted to get a religion, they went for here. Here's been a straight beeline to this, so it's unlikely that they have any other re any other good research back here. Because this requires dance, music, and, uh, yeah. So I, I, I'm mistaken. So these three are right here. So they had to go this. Means they. Yeah, they might, they prob more than likely beeline for the religion, unless it is Mesopotamianism, in which case then uh, we're still pretty, uh, pretty far ahead. There's a hunter on my land. I tried. I tried and failed. I thought maybe we might be able to take it. But no. Not quite. Not quite able to do. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Where do I want to put my next we already have Atlanta up here? Where do I like I think my next city's actually gonna come down right there. Actually, yeah, that is where the next city's gonna be. Right here. Take that pig up. Yeah, it's gonna have uh, two dead tiles. Not even deserts of dead tiles at this point. Without their ability. So, fire has destroyed a building in the city. Local firefighters have contained it, but asked for some additional forces to secure J buildings. Yeah, it's only 10 gold. What did you let? Got destroyed. The negotiators have probably. Chicken coop. Okay, that's not a big deal. The world wonder. Oh, yeah, it is. Grand Sky Festival. Uh, while we're here, we may as well queue up the, uh, next bit of... Next bit of things. Even though it's not gonna be too much. Uh, Warrior's Hut. That's your, uh, security and disease looking like. Crime and disease are down, although disease is kind of needs a bit of a boost. Uh, go Fletcher's Hut, Negotiator, grab that. Myth of the Metal, Donkey Breeder. Let's see here. Animal Trainer. Uh, have I had a 
if it dances in here? Let's check. Check with that, and I'll also add another add another healer to there. Uh, let's see. That's got a road up to here now. Go there, there. That might be the last of them. Next, over this one. Put up the, uh... Alright, so that one managed to finish there. Uh, let's see. If you make your way to there, and we'll have you come around and work on some of the boats, or some of the tiles here. Finally, Quarry's back up. Okay, let's head back over to here. Alex Bane is going to the next side. Dude. Sweet. Uh, before it's that. Hey, oh, not matter. We're just gonna go lumber camp. Any of these units embark? No. They cannot embark, which means, uh, this would just be for a boat. I'll go around hunting. Go hunt down some sea creatures. Uh, let's see here. There's a pasture. What's in your research? Standardization. I already got that. I don't think they're too far behind. What sucks is I can't even see what religion they are. So for all I know... For all I know, India actually was the one that discovered chemitism. No, I actually know they couldn't have. They don't have standardization. I take it back. <coughs> National Mint. Nice. Wow. That's pretty cool. Buyers, mercantile or free trade, coinage to be active. Got access to a bunch of different stuff that for a bunch of different, uh. Oh, excuse me. That provides, uh. ingots. Uh, I think for the nationals, they just require you to own the uh, ore itself and the t that you don't need any, uh. You don't need ingots in order to use. You just have to. Oh, like, you don't have to have the uh, the ore inside the city. So, for instance, uh, this copper with the copper with the national coppersmith. I just need to own the copper ore, and then I can put the national one up in any other city as long as it has a connection to uh, a cop a source of copper. So, yeah. Or you know. Go hunt, my friend. Let's see here. You can come up to here. Work on this. For some reason, I did not put anything up on that hill. I just threw it. I don't want that. Alright. Let's see here. The incest. Oh, nice. Get the picking camp there. You. Be a mine. That tile a lush. Nice and lush. A lush tile it is. Camp, please. It's, oh, we got a small island up here. Well, since this is going, this little bit's going to end here. That does have a few resources on the other side. I might have to hit somebody over here. 
might get one city placed here, and it would get all the land. Let's see what's up here. Okay, probably not worth my time in settling. Grab that. Get those! Uh, there's still these guys here. I gotta get Phoenix over there to deal with that. Oh, I so badly want one of those creatures. So badly want How are you guys doing up here? Settler, yep, settlers there. Everybody's still freezing to death because as soon as they leave their city, as soon as they leave, they get cold and then they immediately want to head back inside. How oh, you guys are a civilization, I don't know. Oh, interesting. Uh, Gandhi discovered Hinduism. Gandhi got Hinduism. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that would make sense. He got a Mesopotamianism. I think Hinduism was discovered off of that. It might have also been discovered off of something different, and it's ju and it just made its way out to, out to Bombay. Oh boy, conquering India is gonna be tough. All right, well, you made it there. Congratulations, and by some miracle, uh, you're not dead yet. Up here. Why did you stop? Oh, there's a hunter there. Go hunt, don't go kill that though. Kill that, that's bad news. It's bad. Alright, let's see. Shell workers hunt. Yup. You hard at work? Uh, now you are. Outrigger up here. That would be thorough. Eh, there's one more C. Like, one more, uh... We have a resource right here. I might actually come over and settle this. For two, I wouldn't. But a third one, I could be convinced. Or, if there's a resource on this little plot of land. Yeah, okay, never mind. Oh, there's clan. Oh, that sucks. If this was in by one more, then I would. I actually would have came out here. Yeah, maybe if there's one there. Who knows? Ah, jungle. That's a mangrove march. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, they're still capped out on that there. I think I've got my spearman in order. It's dead. Ah, not yet. Let's see. So, you can go to this tile next and we'll put up a forest. A work camp there. Yeah. Lumber camp, not work camp. New York's growing to the size of two next turn. There was new oh yeah, New York is our copper city. City of copper. Beats! It can now grow even faster. Still losing out quite a bit of money per turn. Ah, that doesn't really matter. This means you gotta cut back a little bit on the great expansion. Oh, glorious empire. Let's see. You guys do this. I will send this man over to here. I will uh, grab this. Oh, subdued turkey has made its way up here. Do I have a subdued turkey at Slade? No. I could, oh, excuse me, build a myth of the turkey and slain, but I think this is more important to, uh, food or wealth? White feathers. Ah, uh, this would provide more poultry and eggs. Poultry, 
it's two resources versus one. Man cannot discover new ocean unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shore. Otherwise known as one man does not. It's just. Oh crud, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the quote behind it. What is. It's one man something something. Or one man cannot something something will lose sighting of the shore. And I don't think it was quite this. Actually, it may have been. Oh, I think it was men cannot lose. Man cannot discover new lands without losing sight of the shore. That's what I believe. Alright, now we're down there. Head this way. Dalphy and Washington are growing. Oh, yes. Yes, continue to grow, my cities. Grow big in size, and then you you too will be as great as slain is. And also the old Iroquois capital. We don't talk about that, though. Why is it called the old Iroquois capital? Well, we don't talk about that. It'd be, uh... It's forbidden to talk about it. Let's just say that. Alright, uh, let's see. Who builds a road? Oh, go on. Go hurt something. Just with my. Uh, why would you go inside the city? Fence. Makes no sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Why would you just go right back inside the city? Uh, uh. All right, we'll grab that musk ox. Like from here, you could have easily just went after the musk ox up north. I was like, okay, you want to go after that? Yeah, you go after it. Nope, he just says, I'm going to turn around and go back into the city. Yeah, it is actually worthwhile putting a single city here. Taking all of these. I see. Anyways, you have sent it all the way to Boston. You know, I'm not going to complain. This city does need it, after all. And welcome back! You have made it to the end of the video! Thank you very much for watching! Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed, maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content, and also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only- I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton, I'm thinking. Cap, but I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little, small little bit of collection of games that I've done. If you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next one, take it easy.